you need to get thinking about your metabolic health. Do you need to eat every two or three hours or you're hangry? You may be able to do an Ironman or run an ultra or do some other incredible sport, but if you're not metabolically fit, this virus is going to impact you. Hi, I had a thought today that I want to share with y'all um, and it has to do with immune system function and it has to do with, of course, this whole COVID-19 that's still with us today. We, we're still dealing with these surges and new cases and numbers and yes, even some deaths. Um, and so we've got this situation with COVID-19 virus, but this concept that I'm going to posit today, while we're going to use COVID-19 as the center, center of it, it has to do with a whole lot more. It has to do with the common cold. It has to do with the strains of influenza virus. And it has to do with all kinds of other viruses and bacteria that we're exposed to on a daily basis. But let's, let's use COVID-19 as the key to kind of stay on track and keep on point. So COVID-19 has all kinds of outcomes. You have bad outcomes, you have death, and then you have a growing body of data that's suggesting that a large part of the population actually is asymptomatic. So the concept I want to give to you today is that the virulence of COVID-19, that is the degree that it affects people um, when you get infected with COVID-19. So the virulence of the virus lies in the host. Yes, that means you. How bad that virus is going to affect someone depends upon their metabolic health more than the virus itself. So you need to get thinking about your metabolic health. Do you need to eat every two or three hours or you're hangry? You may be able to do an Ironman or run an ultra or do some other incredible sport, but if you're not metabolically fit, this virus is going to impact you. Um, this is why fat adaptation is so important. But this concept of the virulence of these viruses of bacteria we're exposed to lies in the host. It's, it's a concept that we really need to start thinking about because when we start thinking about that, we're going to take action to get our metabolic health well so that we're not as impacted by these things because really if we were metabolically much healthier as a nation as a whole this COVID-19 wouldn't even be a thing so that's the concept for today the virulence of COVID-19 really lies in the host so that means you and start thinking about what you can do to get your metabolic health to its potential. Thanks very much.